All right, hey guys, uh, it's Rob Teeter over here at the workshop again. I'll back out of the video a little bit here uh, since I'm only up in the corner <clears throat> so that we can focus on uh, this mirror cell here. We're going to do another tutorial video, uh, this time about our solid tube series, or STS, uh, telescopes that utilize this type of mirror cell from Aurora Precision, uh, where the mirror itself, the primary mirror, is attached uh, with silicone adhesive to the mirror cell. All right, so one of the frequently asked questions that we've had is when it comes time in the future, could be 5, 10, 15 years in the future, that that mirror coating needs to be redone, that the surface of the mirror, uh, the aluminum coating, needs to be stripped and uh, reapplied uh, by a, uh, a mirror coating company. What do you do with the mirror cell being attached to the, to the mirror? Because right, none of these guys with vacuum chambers want to put anything in the chamber except for the mirror itself. All right, so you can't send uh, the, the mirror coater uh, your mirror attached to the cell and expect the mirror to come back recoated. Uh, most likely they'll just send everything back to you and say, hey, you have to remove the mirror from the cell. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to walk through some of the steps uh, needed uh, to do that, to get the cell off of the mirror so that you can send them just the mirror in the mail and get that recoded. Um, in the future. Um, so similar to what we did with the mirror cleaning video, we're going to start unthreading uh, one, two, and three of these uh, three collimation bolts right here for your cell. All right, so you're going to unthread them all the way, or you've already started this prior to the video, just so this would go a little bit quicker. All right, so you unthread them all the way, and then um, you know, to the point where you could actually remove this back plate. All right. Back plate off to the side. Uh, you have the three springs that are between the plates. You can take those off. Um, and now you have this triangular plate. And this is uh, as far as we got with the mirror cleaning video in terms of disassembling the mirror cell. Now we're going to go a few more steps. Uh, what you need at this point here is a tool. Uh, it's an eighth inch uh, Allen wrench right here, Allen key, some people call it. Uh, so you're going to take this eighth inch Allen wrench and you're going to remove these one two, three stainless steel bolts in here. All right, so they take the eighth inch uh, drive on this, um, this Allen wrench. So you're gonna loosen them all the way. All right, loosen, loosen, loosen until they come out. All right, so there one comes out. And again, we've already pre-loosened these before the video started. So there we go. That's a second one that comes out. And then you'd loosen the third one. And that comes out. So put them off to the side, somewhere where you're not gonna lose them. Now, with those, three bolts removed, this triangular piece of the cell now can also be removed. All right, so put that off to the side. Now what you're left with are these three bars and the six round discs that attach uh, to the back of the mirror. Uh, what you have to do at this point, uh, this is where you want to get serious with some of the safety uh, equipment. All right, a uh, pair of safety glasses, safety goggles. All right, so they're going to go on. And then a pair of gloves, All right? Here we go. I like these pair of gloves. They're pretty heavy duty. All right, so we're going to put them on. All right, I'm going to put them on my one hand there. i put it on the other hand. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use this next tool. It is a wood chisel. All right, tends to be very sharp. All right, so you want to be very careful when using this. All right, who would ever think you'd use a wood chisel with a primary mirror? but that's what's gonna be required. All right, so we're gonna take the wood chisel. Um, you're gonna see it's tapered, right? Uh, tapers down here on the edge. All right, so you're gonna take the sharp edge of the wood chisel. All right, I chose a one inch wood chisel uh, just so it's as wide as possible. And you're gonna start working it here under the uh, aluminum circles. Here the aluminum discs uh, is where the uh, silicone actually is. So you wanna work the wood chisel carefully, right, because your hand is here, right, around and around and around. All right, now we've already started this one before the video started. Um, so you could get the wood chisel underneath and ply that up, and then that comes off. All right, and then you're also going to have a, a little black washer right here, so don't lose that. Put that off to the side. This off to the side. Same thing over here. Work the wood chisel underneath. So what it's doing, it's cutting through the silicone. All right, so pull that off. And again, don't lose the washer. There we go. And then this one over here, we still have to do this one so we can work the wood chisel in there and around. 
and you'll feel it get under underneath. And then as you're popping, one side off, the other side tends to pop off as well. All right, so there we go. Now what we're left with though, is one, two, three, four, five, six blobs of silicone. These are not allowed in the mirror coating chamber either. They don't want this. So here's where a little bit of labor is gonna be involved. You're gonna to wanna to take the wood chisel and just work it back and forth, going over and getting that blob of silicone to come off. So here we go. All right, there you go. That's one of the blobs of silicone that attach the cell to the mirror. All right, it's like jelly, it's kind of flimsy there. All right, so there you go, that's garbage. Next, you go to this one. So now we're working on number two. All right, so you wanna get the big blobs off first. There we go. So that's another one off. Uh, and you're gonna go all the way around, you're gonna get all six of these off. And you wanna go back too, and you wanna go back and really chisel, obviously not scratching the mirror, but you want to use the edge of the chisel to get off all of the thin silicone that was left, right? Because when you chisel off the blob, it is going to leave some silicone residue behind, right? You're not going to get all of it off. All right, so that comes off. And as you can see, there's still some silicone there, right? If we get a good picture here with the, uh, with the shadow, all right? You, you, so you can see there's still some silicone there. So you just want to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until it's all off, right? You can't see it anymore, it's gone. Um, now the one thing to note is it will stain the glass, the silicone, because what the silicone is doing, it's, um, it's going into the pores of the glass, right? Because uh, the back of the glass, back of the mirror, usually a lot of times isn't polished, it's not smooth, so it has little tiny micro uh, holes in there, and uh, the silicone gets in there. You won't be able to get that silicone out, and uh, that, I'm told, is not a problem for the coating chambers. It's just this, these large chunks of silicone have to come off. But the silicone that is left behind that you can't chisel off or scrape off, it's just in there. It's never gonna come out, okay? Uh, so again, all three have to come out. I should say, sorry, all uh, six blobs have to come off. All six should be scraped until there's nothing left. Um, then you can go and of course, you know, shop towel this, uh, a little shop vac vacuum to vacuum the, uh, the little pieces of silicone off. You want this to be as absolutely clean um, as possible. Uh, but again, we're doing this here. We could do the whole process um, in probably, let's say we're running here almost eight minutes in the video. Uh, so we're probably talking, you know, if you want to be real careful with this, maybe double that. So maybe 15 minutes uh, to get all the silicone off the mirror and have the mirror prepped for recoating. So not really the end of the world, nothing really to be scared of. You just need a good sharp wood chisel, an eighth inch, Allen wrench, good pair of gloves, all right, good pair of work gloves, and then a good pair of safety glasses too, just to be safe. And that's it. Um, the mirror will be ready to go. You can box it up, ship it out, and get it ready for uh, recoding. So not such a big deal. Now you know how to do it. Uh, if you have any questions about this process uh, or want any more information, please feel free to give us a call or write us an email. All right, thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.